What up, man? Unbiased review checking in. Um, just had to add some shit to the Arsenal Calico battle. Uh, it's really good to see, man. This is already like an instant classic. I don't know why the views still say 308 when on the right they say 132,000. So I'm not really sure. Maybe that Arsenal line about he get paid per view, maybe smack and hook some shit up to where the views ain't showing. But um, we ain't really seen a battle this good, man, since probably. Maybe Cortez, Hitman, Holla, Sue Surf, K Shine, maybe, uh, Conceited, Rex. Like, it's, it's very rare you see two niggas really go in. And I'm reading the comments. I'm glad to see y'all niggas aren't biased. It do seem like Arsenal is winning on the comments. Um, everybody that reviewed this battle, I mean, Holla the Don reviewed it, uh, a bunch of other artists reviewed it. Um, and all them niggas said Calico won. Like, I don't know if they were just in the moment. And sometimes when you were in the crowd, it seemed like Calico was winning. But when you go back and watch it, man, you gotta, you gotta, like, Arsenal came with it as far as I'm concerned. Um, just some quick shit I forgot. Round one. Round one is clearly Arsenal. Like, <clears throat> the debatable round is round two. If you, if you go in either way, Arsenal or Calico. Round one. Calico starts off really good um, with the whole ain't nobody gonna get killed smack. He has a lot of good things that he said, but he also had like a nigga that hit me up on on, a, on my page mention he does have a lot of Detroit references in round one, which if you're not a Detroit nigga, you don't really relate to it. He's talking about, you know, getting a burger from this place and he gonna get his Crips and blood from this city. He got de this city of niggas doing this. And I felt like that kind of took away from his round because we don't live in that city, so we don't relate to that shit. <clears throat> like, I live in Atlanta. If I gave you a bunch of Atlanta streets and Atlanta hoods, you'd be like, yeah, it might be hot. But you don't know what it is. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like Arsenal, the way he came out with the whole, um, I'm in another nigga city in another nigga state, the way he rebounded from the trick, trick shit. And, <clears throat> like... The whole thing about your pops, he must be doing life or like like a uh, Martin Lawrence or Eddie Murphy. Like he just clearly took round one, and I mean, I cannot stress the importance of being able to regain your composure. And I didn't even catch how much uh, Young Miles was talking shit in the background too. Like, look, when you watch the battle, look how much Calico got to tell Young Miles to chill out. So you got Miles talking. The crowd talking and trick trick talking and this nigga still bungee cord snaps in round one. So he got round one. Round two, um Calico was back on this shit. Like my favorite line in round two was uh like I know he kept saying like, you know, you second to surf, Sue Surf is first. That whole Detroit flip Calico did with uh put Sue in the game. You a coach, no put Sue, like in Dominica Sue, the football player in the game, was uh was crazy. Like that was that was a really hot line. One thing about Calico in this battle though, he did steal some other nigga style. Another nigga pointed that out to me too. Like the whole I wish Conceited was here so you can slow it down and rapping like Hitman and then saying, No Hitman, we don't we don't wait to the second round, we do it here. Like it was clever. But if you really watch Arsenal, you can say that he was more unique, more original, and he was just on his shit, minus the jokes. And I just felt like uh, Calico did better in round two than he did in round one, but Arsenal, man, was back on his shit in round two. I mean, he was kept talking about, I wish your daddy was here so he can see this, and I put your grandmother in a headlock. He was like, I don't care if she not need or pigeon toed. I'm going to get her 30 seconds to get up the steps. And if she don't get up the steps, I'm going to strangle that hole or some shit like that. Like, the nigga was just mad disrespect. The nigga said he going to put, he going to wipe Calico face with the discharge from your granny panties. Like, nigga, like, who thinks of shit like that, dog? Like, that shit was so crazy. In round three, you got a, uh, um... Calico, I did give round three to Calico. I mean, it was close to, 
But I felt like the way he calmed shit down, the whole trick trick shit, I, I don't know if that shit was planned for trick trick to front like that. I don't really know what the fuck was going on, but I like the way Calico calmed that shit down. There was a lot of good rebuttals in this battle from the whole URL to the, but the way Calico rebuttaled the, uh, um, the whole MTV shit, I think it propelled him in round three. And, um, but that alphabet flip and that whole shit that that nigga said about you can try to swing on me, I'm an auto bowl, I'm a change to play, I got this nigga going wide and this nigga doing this and uh, you the safety so you know you not gonna bust like nigga that shit was ridiculous dog like when that nigga said that shit that and the, and the alphabet shit is why there's niggas on these comments saying Arsenal 3-0 in this battle. I won't go that far, but I mean, it's debatable who won round three. I mean, if it wasn't for the Calico rebuttals, because Arsenal really didn't rebuttal in round three like he did in round two. But uh, um, that alphabet shit is the best i seen a nigga do. Though. I've not seen a nigga destroy the alphabet like that. And then the way he was just ending his rhymes by stealing Calico shit, saying ain't nobody going to get killed, Smack. Even Beasley and Smack might get peeled back. Like, that nigga just really outshined Calico in his battle. <clears throat> I can't even move Calico down, though, as far as, like, on a, on a battle rankings because I felt like this is the best I've seen Calico. I mean, he was good in the... Uh, Mav Hoffa battle, but it was Mav Hoffa. I mean, he ain't at the level of Arsenal. So for him to, I felt like Calico, if you put this performance against any other nigga, like Calico is going to be a hard nigga to beat. Like, you're not going to really be able to fuck with him. I didn't really know he rebuttaled like he rebuttals, but if he going to rebuttal, like he rebuttal that MTVU shit so damn nice. So if you got him and Arsenal and Hollow Down rebuttaling, like them niggas gonna be hard to beat dog because that's really what kind of separates that's really what been getting hollow to down over is his rebuttals and if you're gonna get calico to start doing that shit and arsenal to start doing that shit i always knew that nigga arsenal could freestyle so like i just like the way he ended up ended all his rounds too so <clears throat> all day long man Cal arsenal definitely 2-1 I don't even see how niggas can say Calico won this battle. I, re I mean, it is close. You might want to give them round two and three. But <clears throat> for what that nigga had to deal with crowd-wise and the way he came with it, like, I got to get that nigga. Um, I got to get that nigga this battle. Uh, I guess some other shit, man, is um, that's just the way I see that battle. Uh... John John the Dom, man, I'm going to keep preaching that shit, man. Y'all niggas need to get up on that nigga, but unbiased review. I just wanted to add some shit to it since I've been niggas been hitting me up uh, on YouTube and shit. I've been appreciating the comments, but that's what it is, man. Unbiased review. Peace.